This is a great land uh, flashlight slash lantern as you can see it slides open for lantern, slides shut for flashlight. Um, it takes four AA batteries but um, there's only two wired in series. The uh, other two are wired in um, in parallel with the other two. So it's only a three volt light. It's, uh, it has a krypton bulb in it right now. It's pretty dim. It's actually pretty uh, sad how dim it really is. Um, I have another one of these that's wired that has all the batteries wired in series and it's much brighter even with the krypton bulb because it's six volts. But this one I just wanted to do a before and after comparison um, because I'm going to be putting an LED in this. So I'll show you how dim it is right now. Let me turn the lights off real quick. And, uh, try and turn it on with one hand. Hang on a second. Alright, here you go. It's not very bright. Um, it looks brighter on camera than it really is. So, yeah, it does not illuminate much at all. Um, but the LED should make a big difference because I did put an LED in here at one point. Um, although it was rated for 4 volts, so when the batteries got down to a certain point, the LED wouldn't work anymore. Um, so I'm getting a 3 volt compatible LED to put in this and it should be you know much brighter than it is right now. Now to get the LED to work in this I had to switch the batteries over um, because normally with this flashlight the center uh, contact would be negative and the outer contact would be positive. Now with those LEDs being polarity sensitive, um, they are usually center positive and outer negative. Uh, at least with the ones that I've used, I think most of them are like that. Um, so what I had to do is flip the batteries over, and I had to, since um, the positive contacts are not raised and there's no you know button end no uh, protruding end on the negative side I had to put a part of a washer in there to get it to make contact as you can see because this uh, plastic battery holder kind of blocks it from hitting the contact all the way so I cut a washer in half put half on this side and the other half on this side so it makes contact and at the top I just cut a little uh, metal shelf clip, some parts off of it, and uh, used it to make contact up there. So now it works with the batteries in reverse. Um, yeah, I just took one of these washers, cut it in half, and then I used one of these shelf clips or whatever, or uh, picture hanger clips or whatever and I just cut this end off and the other end off and it fit right in there so now um, it'll work with the LED that's the easiest way that I found to modify this one now there are newer yellow versions of this light um, and those are actually wired correctly for an LED. You don't have to do any modification. You don't have to switch the batteries over or anything. Um, and of course it's also a 6 volt because it's wired completely in series rather than um, series for two and then parallel for all four of them. Or parallel for each set of two, rather. Um, so this should be a much more usable light once I get the LED in and um, yeah these batteries are still at 1.5 volts so they're still good uh, I will 
once these die I'll be using um, rechargeable batteries because I've just bought a whole bunch of rechargeable batteries and I think these are kind of a waste of money um, to go through these all the time. Now I can understand if there was a long term power outage and you had a you stocked up on a bunch of these um, since they do hold their charge longer than uh, nickel metal hydride but rechargeable batteries do um, then these would be ideal but for most situations uh, if you have a lot of rechargeable batteries and you keep them fully charged you'll be fine so this is uh, part one I'll film part two when the LED bulb gets here now just for comparison this is a 6 volt Everetti flashlight and it's got a Krypton bulb as well it is much brighter being 6 volts let me turn the lights off again as you can see it lights things up pretty nicely you can definitely see what you're looking at um, so yeah it's uh, definitely going to be a worthwhile upgrade for this one maybe not so much for a 6 volt one like this and it wouldn't be possible for this one anyway because with these 6 volt lantern batteries the center contact that goes to the uh, bottom contact in the bulb is negative and um, those LEDs the, the bottom contact is positive so it would not work in a flashlight like this they did make um, LED versions of this light I don't know when they stopped or started making this light I've had this for a long time um, but I know they don't make this particular model anymore which is a shame because these are reliable and they were made in USA and they're pretty durable too so um, yeah that's it for this part um, I will add the second part to this video once the bulbs get here. Alright, now that the LEDs are here, uh, this was a package of three. Um, the reason this is in here is because I took it out of this one, or this one and put the LED in here already. And it is definitely much brighter. This is one of the ones that um, is able to go down to three volts. Uh, it wouldn't work. The other ones that were meant for a minimum of a 4 volts would not work in this flashlight because it's only a 3 volt light. This is a 6 volt. So I'll turn the lights off and I'll compare the two. I'll turn this one on first. This one's pretty bright. As you can see, um, it's got you know no trouble illuminating things there is a, a you know a dark dot in the middle of it now we'll turn the other one on this is the older style light and there you go it's not quite as bright as the um, 6 volt light but it still puts off a nice amount of light it's very usable it's definitely brighter than the uh, original Krypton bulb so and it could actually be used for I guess tactical purposes now if you, if you needed to blind somebody who was trying to attack you this would work um, so let me turn this off and I'll turn the lights back on okay so I'll have to show you exactly what I did here um, to make this work now this one required no modification whatsoever because the positive and negative are where they're supposed to be to work with an LED. Um, this one however was reversed so I had to turn the batteries upside down and put little metal spacers that I made myself in between uh, the batteries and the what would normally be the positive terminal uh, but is now the negative terminal because um, the battery wasn't quite reaching it so I had to, because uh, it doesn't have the little button on the end, like the positive side, so I had to modify it and put little washers in there that I cut in half. Um, and then 
some thinner metal that I cut for the top. Uh, so this one works fine now. I did have to uh, um, fix this switch because it broke. Cause these are notorious for doing that. Um, so I just put a longer screw in it and it works fine. This one I haven't managed to break yet. I'm going to be very careful with it so I don't. And uh, these newer, the yellow ones, which are newer, have a much better design. So these switches are not anywhere near as fragile. So, and again, these are 6 volt because all the batteries are wired in series, whereas uh, these older ones are uh, series parallel, so they're only 3 volts. <coughs> so, um, I am going to modify this one as well. Let me turn it on real quick. I want to make sure I don't break the switch. This one, um, let me turn the lights off. It's not quite as dim as uh, the other one was, but it's not very bright. It's pretty unimpressive, actually. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights back on. And then I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to put the LED in this one as well. I did the same modifications to this one. Put the washers on the bottom that I cut in half, and put the little picture hook things that I cut off on top. So it's uh, working fine now. Let me turn it on. There you go. It works. So. Um, I'm going to put this in we'll do a brightness test. And here we are with the LED. I do like the fact that on these uh, older ones that they don't have that uh, spot in the middle. Um, but yeah, the light is much more usable now. It's definitely brighter. Um, I think this is absolutely a worthwhile upgrade. Uh, just because of the fact that the batteries will last longer and you'll get more usable light. So now all of these have been upgraded. Um, if you want to do this I would say go for it. I think it's absolutely worth it and uh, by the way these bulbs that I bought, well not the Krypton bulb but the ones that I'm using in here and the one that's left are rated from uh, 3 to 6 volts so uh, they'll work with a wider range of applications than the other ones would. Okay, so I think that's about it for this video. Um, I do have one left, so probably, oh, it's got a dent on it, that's not good, but I don't think the other ones did. But whatever, if it doesn't affect the operation, I don't care. Um, just make sure that if you uh, are testing this out in your flashlight to see if it's reverse polarity or not, um, these things will get hot and actually start smoking if the polarity is wrong. Um, that happened with uh, this flashlight, the one I put in there. Um, it was actually this bulb that's in here that started smoking, but it still works fine. Um, I have left it on for an extended period of time, and it has not failed. So I think these are pretty durable and reliable. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. It definitely puts off more light. Thank you for watching.